What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, someone had comment on one of my recent videos saying, hey, I should do another wrestling tier list. So, that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to do another one for you guys. I'm going to do a um, WWE Best Rivalry Tier List. Now, if there happens to not be a rivalry that's on here, Please don't get mad at me. This is one of the more popular ones that I found. So I'm going to do this and go through the, you know, go through the list in my opinion on what's a, you know, what's S tier, A tier, B, C, and D tier, man. So this one should be quite interesting. If you guys want me to do more tier list videos, uh, wrestling tier list videos, let me know. I believe there's a... Uh, uh, the best WWE superstars of all time list as well. So we can go through that in all different other type of lists if you guys want me to do that. So let's get right into this one. So we have Seth Rollins and it looks like Roman Reigns. That is not a bad. They didn't have a bad rivalry. I think what dampers their rivalry is because of roman reigns character at the time roman reigns wasn't as over as wwe wanted them to be so even though seth was technically a heel he was still getting cheered as a face because everyone no one well a lot of people the the you know a lot of the older fans the hardcore fans were not a big fan of roman reigns but it still was a solid tier uh, a solid um rivalry and i gotta put this they they put on some good stuff, bro. Whether you like Roman or not, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, they be having some good matches. Even recently this year, they have great matches, no matter how their character is. So I'm putting this in A tier, man. That belongs to be in A tier. So that looks like Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair. Now, I, I'm not well versed on it. Obviously, this was um, before my time you know even in living <laughs> so but i have seen a few things like a few documentaries of them talking about it. the most recent one was the evil documentary with season one with rick flair and he was talking about his legendary feud with ricky steamboat i gotta even though i don't know too much and I, i'm you know i wasn't really there for it but just the footage that i've seen and and how they really played that feud up and how people really bought into it off of respect alone, I have to put it in S tier. Off of respect alone for what they were able to do. Like I said, I wasn't really well versed for. So for those fans that were able to see that, let me know how y'all felt about the feud as well. Me personally, I just got to put respect on it for two legendary wrestlers. So I, I got to put it in S tier. Now, this one, Chris Jericho, HBK. Oh my God, around 2007, I want to say it was like 2007, the whole storyline with um, um, HBK trying to retire and then his wife getting involved in the mix and then Jericho accidentally hitting his wife and oh my, this is S tier. I don't even have to say anything. The matches they had around that time was so great. Oh my God, that's S tier. Definitely go to S tier. Stone Cold and The Rock, what are we talking about? What, what are we talking about? That's that's, that's tier as well. What, what, what do we we ain't gotta say nothing. Easily some of the best WrestleMania matches ever, ever. What are we talking about? Edge and John Cena. That's a good one. I'm I'm really struggling with Edge and John Cena. Their rivalry was great. Oh my God. Edge slapping John Cena's dad. The the disrespect. The back and forth. Mm. For the for the it, it, this was towards the end of the Attitude Era vibes. Well, it was getting close towards the end of the Attitude Era vibes. I have to. There's no question about it. I gotta put this. I gotta put this in S tier. This is an S tier feud. They had some great matches. Edge made you really hate him. And <laughs> Brock versus Roman. Oh. Ugh. I can say their multi-man matches were fun because there was other people. There's a whole bunch of carnage and destruction. Um, the match they had at ground, I think that was Crown Jewel. The match they had there was fun, was good. Their best match they had was at WrestleMania 31. Everything else has been kind of redundant, kind of mid for me. Other than their multi-man matches, 
But just them alone, I got to put this in D tier, bro. There's only really one match that stands out. There's really only one match that stands out. So I, I'm thinking... I want to be nice to say C, but I got to put this in D tier, bro. I've just... There's only really one match that was really, really impressive. Everything else has been kind of mid to like... Or the multi-man. And I, I don't want to count the multi-man matches because other people made those matches what it was. Stone Cold and Vince McMahon. That's S. I, it helped them win Monday nights. The Monday Night Wars. Stone Cold and Vince McMahon is easily the best feud ever in wrestling. You're going Stone Cold, the everyday guy. The, you know, the guy that everybody wants to be is talking trash to his boss. Everybody wanted to be that guy. I want to be Stone Cold so I can talk trash to my boss. You know? Drink beer, have a good time, wear jorts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking trash. Easily. And Vince McMahon, the guy that you hated, you despise. He's a piece of garbage. He is the devil himself. It worked fantastically. Helped him win uh, the Monday Night Wars. Triple H. I'm not Triple H. Um, Undertaker and HBK. That's S tier. What are we talking about? The matches they had at WrestleMania alone. And it's only like, they only had, had like two matches. Those two matches alone puts it in S tier. Fantastic. Love those matches. Some of my favorite WrestleMania matches of all time. I will always remember where I was when I watched them. Especially that WrestleMania 25 match. Mm. Chef's kiss. So great. I want to say this looks like. Yeah, that's Randy Orton and uh, Triple H. They had a good feud. I enjoyed their, their continuation. It started when Randy was young in evolution. And then it continued on later on. I love this. This was great. I'm putting this in the A tier, man. This is an A tier feud. Um. John Cena, Randy Orton. Now, I can't put this in S tier. I have John Cena Edge in S tier because it didn't overstay its welcome. It was fun. It was great. I enjoyed it. This overstayed its welcome. And you some could say the same thing with Randy Orton and Triple H, but I like theirs because of just their history. And they didn't constantly bring that feud back and forth. I mean, they kind of did, if you want to be honest. But I feel like the Randy Orton and John Cena was a means to end, like, Brock and Roman. Because they didn't push nobody else. So, hey, you can't go wrong with John Cena and Randy Orton. So, I'm going to possibly put... I'm going to put this as A. It's still the A tier for you. Roman and Triple H. It's not a good feud. Once again, it was all about trying to push Roman as the guy. Nobody was buying it. I have, it's not as bad as the Brock Lesnar, so I'll put it in the C tier, but this was the Roman that no one cared about. Now, this rivalry, mm, this is a tough one. This should be S tier when they first went at it. The buildup was great, but obviously people found out they were leaving, so... Their, their, their WrestleMania match, their first one, was garbage. But then the little feud they had many years later, was, it worked. It was quick, straight to the point. So the only reason I, I, I'm going to put this as B tier because it had the makings of being something very monumental. But when the first time it happened, it, they, you know, crowd did not care. It, it just, it didn't work. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get this. This is a B-tier feud. It's not... It's not... Mm, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really... It's between B and A. I think... It's... I'm going to go A. I'm going to give this an A-tier feud. Because when it happened the second time around, they made up for it. When Goldberg came back, they made up for it. And even at WrestleMania that year, it was actually pretty fun. They made up for it. One too many matches. Straight. I'll give it. I'll give. I'll be nice and get out of A tier because that wasn't really bad. Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan. Don't really know too much about this. This is before my time, but I know the classic, the classic image of Hulk Hogan body slamming 
Andre the Giant. I, it, it, it's S tier. It's legendary. It's iconic wrestling. CM Punk. John Cena. They had some good matches. They had some great matches. Easily my favorite match from them. Money in the Bank. <laughs> 2011. The, I would argue easily one of the best Money in the Bank. It is the best Money in the Bank match ever like the money like a match at money in the bank pay-per-view is no question that's the best match ever one of the best matches wwe's ever produced <coughs> Woo! god damn that sneeze came from the soul um you know what it's between s and a Ooh, this is a good feud they had a good feud but I'm going to still give it an A tier. S tier is like really, really legendary feud. So, I'm going to give that A tier. HBK, <clears throat> Bret Hart, what are we talking about? That's S tier. They legit hated each other. Like There was legit backstage tension with them. So, <clears throat> that's that's S tier. The, the Montreal Screwdrop, S tier. Like, the, the real life disliking of each other made that rivalry even more 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 fantastic <clears throat> the rock john cena what are we talking about s tier come on now even though they only had like two matches at wrestlemania their back and forth promos were fantastic loved it loved it loved it hopefully we can see him go against roman uh the rock oh hbk Triple H, one, if y'all know me, y'all know that's one of my favorite blood feuds. That's S tier, without a doubt. The matches they had, the type of passion, like they were literally trying to kill each other. Oh man, love it. And it reminds me of, I wish they had the NXT rivalries over here. HBK, Triple H reminds me of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. That feud reminds me so much of their feud. I wish they had this on there. So, uh, but yeah, that's S tier. Without a doubt. Stone Cold Triple H. Now, Triple H played an integral part in, you know, a lot of Stone Cold, you know, feuds and matches. But to be honest with you, it was always Stone Cold and The Rock that was the, the maximum feud. They had some great stuff. I'm giving this A tier. Some would be like, oh, that's S tier. To me, it's not. But to me, it wasn't. It was still great. It was really, really good. You hated Triple H. And they had some great back and forths. I love that little sequence of they couldn't touch each other before WrestleMania. Like, I love that. But I'm still giving it A tier only because I, I've, I always preferred the Rock and Stone Cold as the 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 main the main course. Uh, Triple H, Batista. Mm, I'm going to give that... I'm going to give that A tier. It's not S tier only because, I mean, really, it they it was their job to build up Batista, and I enjoyed it. It was great for what it was. It was quick, straight to the point. Batista was going to be the new guy. All right, Triple H in The Rock. Mm. I'm going to still possibly, even though they had some good back and forth, I'm going to still put this in the A tier only because, the Rock and Stone Cold, that was the top. And then their Stone Cold and, you know, Triple H, you know, down just a little bit, just down on, on a lower level. Kane and The Undertaker, that's another good one. I'm going to possibly put that in the, the A tier as well. The way they were, you know, the matches they've had and their the storyline they were telling with them, me very memorable. Um... Oh, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, or you can basically say the authority, that's S tier. What are we talking about? My favorite rest, one of my favorite WrestleMania moments of all time. Daniel Bryan going against the authority, super, super, mega, ultra S tier. It, it brought me back to the, to the stone cold days of the guy trying to overcome the, the odds. And I, I loved it, man. Fantastic. And the last one they have on here is Macho Man. And uh, uh, Hulk Hogan. I know about it, once again, before my time. I know about this feud. I didn't really watch it, obviously. 
Um, but I, you know, seen clips, footage, and and people how they just, you know, remember this time period of wrestling from these legendary wrestlers. I gotta put this in S tier just off respect alone, just off respect alone. So yeah, man, this is my tier list of the best WWE uh, rivalries that they have on here. Um, honestly. I think this is a solid list. I think this is very solid. There's nothing that was in the B category. Um, <laughs> it sucks, unfortunately, that Roman uh, takes takes a takes a, a bottom seat to a lot of these tiers. Except his feud with Seth Rollins has always been good, and that's mainly because of what Seth Rollins was able to do. Um, but yeah, man, this is my tier list. So I want to know down below from the people you've seen here, where would you guys rank? the uh your favorite robbery from s tier all the way down to d tier uh let me know or even if they're not on on this list a robbery just in wwe in general like if they're not on this list rank them down below and i'll definitely check them out let me know also if you guys want me to do some more tier list videos wrestling related you know i will i'm definitely interested in potentially checking out the best WWE superstar of all time. So I think that would be pretty cool if you guys would want that. But I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.